Hello all, Rick here with a quick first look at the new ship unveiled in the teaser of Star Trek Picard Season 3, the USS Titan NCC 80102-A. We know next to nothing about this vessel at this early review stage, but a few things can be gleaned and more can be speculated on. For starters, the class was named the Neo-Constitution, which tells us plenty about its designed role and design philosophy from Starfleet. You don't make a vessel and name it a Constitution type if you don't intend to mirror the role that that vessel for some time filled. As to why Starfleet would do this, well, we have recently seen an Excelsior II class in 2401, as well as the 2382 Obana class. Both of these ships were effectively scaled up and newly outfitted versions of the Excelsior. So it looks like amid newer designs, the shipyards are turning back to older schematics and simply updating them with newer technology. The Neo Constitution seems to be the next ship to receive that treatment. The vessel does not look to be too large, judging by the space dock view and the scale of the windows, and the bridge interior looks to be a redressing of the Sagan class, as seen on the USS Stargazer NCC 82893. In fact, there is a reason for the interior being the same. It saves money. No. The fact that the bridge and surrounding deck are lifted from the Sagan class. Additionally, we can see a two nacelled Sagan in the background of one shot, and if you're wondering where the other nacelles went, well, then they are also appropriated by the Neo Constitution. I joke, well, of course, we have seen frequent designs that simply take existing nacelles and attach them to new frames in every era of Trek. So, the Neo Constitution appears to be a vessel built on the same principles as the original Connie, but it includes some developments from the newest science vessels of the time. Although its nacelles are certainly larger comparatively to its hull, and it retains the Constitution's placement of impulse engines. Just more of them. Both of these suggest that this ship can move fast at both warp and sublight speeds. The design itself, in real life, is a slight overhaul of the Shangri-La class concept, specifically the Type 2 Ranger variant as designed by Bill Krauss, so perhaps we can glean more from the original. Certainly, some elements have carried over, such as the saucer section having the striping and the slanted look present on ships from the early 2270s, such as the Constitution refit. It also has the same navigational dome and sensor array on the underside of the saucer section as seen on ships of that era. However, the Shangri-La was envisioned as a fast attack cruiser of the 2280s onwards era, and like the Pathfinder Defiant concept, it featured a designated barrage torpedo launcher at the fore of the vessel's saucer. This has been stripped away from the Neo Constitution. Which is not to say it would be unarmed, but just that the loadout appears to be less obvious, something that I think befits a ship labelled another Connie. Plus, its namesake is the USS Titan, Captain Riker's vessel from 2379 to possibly around 2391 based on Riker's reserve retirement to Nepenthe. This Lunar class was an exploratory vessel first and foremost, but easily with the capability of patrol and defence. Finally, its commanding officer is the newly commissioned Commander Seven of Nine, and I do wonder if she will go by Commander Hanson, Seven, or Commander Nine. Her background on Voyager makes her ideal for scientific roles, but her more recent experiences in the Rangers have had her patrolling and defending sectors too so both of these roles would suit her. And if we're going to look at the role for the original constitution, it pretty much embodied these two roles alongside diplomatic duties. This is about as much as I'm willing to speculate on, however, because honestly, it could go anywhere from here. I look forward to seeing what other ships exist in this time too, as I think we're all agreed 
that there's probably another vessel in the ESD that they're going to be visiting at some point. So I'll leave this analysis here and thank you for watching. I've been Rick and I'll see you later next time. Goodbye.